So it's been a while since I did a vlog and it's also been a while since I uploaded a video. Life has been literally so crazy lately. Um, so a few weeks back I had the flu and that had me out for a week, which I think I talked about in one of my videos. And then we moved. And then after we moved, my husband got a tooth pulled out. And directly after that, we both got sick with really bad colds. And this is actually like the first week I've we've felt better. <laughs> so um, we are pretty much all moved in the new place. And I just wanted to update you guys on some things that we've done and show you what it looks like with all the furniture in it and whatnot. So things are kind of still messy. Um, and I'm doing laundry today, so just ignore the laundry on the bed. But still don't have a kitchen or a bathroom. It is a work in progress, which I have explained to you guys many of times before. So we're just going to start from the front, front door and then work our way through. So I'm going to turn you around. Okay, so this was my husband's nightstand in the old apartment and we actually just moved it in here um, because we eventually want to sell it and since we don't have a kitchen really this is kind of like our little pantry area. Um, we just like have our snacks and stuff and like our our really classy plastic plates or paper plates and plastic cups and whatnot since all of our dishes is, um, are packed away. but. I just have some like little salt and pepper shakers and then our tea and then those three things I got from Myers. They're just canisters. But this is what the kitchen is looking like right now. We moved this in uh, recently. This is not going to stay here. Um, but the kitchen right now is definitely just like some storage. Uh, we just have tons of boxes in here full of like kitchen stuff. Um, but this was in our old apartment. This was our little coffee bar. And we it actually belongs to my in-laws so we couldn't sell it um you guys have seen that i moved in my little craft cart these are some boxes of stuff i need to unpack and then this is our bedroom it's what it looks like um so far um like i said i'm doing laundry so just ignore that and I moved my little cube shelf over here. I think I showed you guys this already, but I have put it together and like put all my uh, nail polish and my jewelry on it. And then I did get my Ipsy bag on the 8th. So I'm going to share that um, in this video because I don't feel like filming a separate video for that. And then I got my newest pearls and prim earrings today. Um, I will link her shop below in the description bar. I am a brand rep, a brand rep for her Etsy shop. Um, she sells really, really affordable, cute little earrings. Like all of these right here are pearls and prim. These, these, um, these ones right here. And then these ones over here. And I do have a coupon code that I will link, um, in the description bar as well uh, we have our blanket ladder we put doors on uh, I think that's something new that I haven't showed you guys we have our doors up we have our doorknobs um, before we just didn't have a doorknob <laughs> um, our doorknob on there has been there but we also put the door on the closet and the doorknob on the closet as well um, this stack of clothes um, are going on my Poshmark so if you're not following me on Poshmark I will leave the link below um, and then this ottoman is full of yarn because I am a crocheter um, and then our nightstand and whatnot but that's my vanity this is where I do my hair because I don't really have space in the bathroom upstairs um, to do it so I have just a little thing of hair stuff and my mirror so that's pretty much the bedroom and then uh, I have this white rug here but it's just for like uh, picture taking and photography and then all of our bathroom stuff is here <laughs> because our bathroom is in there um, and it's not done yet so this drives me nuts because I hate not having a place to put things and I hate that it's spread across uh, one, two, three, four, five, six baskets. Um, yeah, I'm dying to get a bathroom. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, I moved in my little Rascog craft cart, 
and show you guys we got a new printer got a new printer from Walmart and it was only $40 and I was having major issues with my old printer and it was a wedding gift so we had had it for like five years <clears throat> but yeah I really love this printer so far and then I think I I don't know if I've shown you guys like all this but we moved in everything so <laughs> everything is moved in um but yeah it's really really cute and really cozy and um I'll talk about my um my shelves right here these are the like the white Ikea like floating shelves or whatever and I'll show you guys what I have on them so I have a home sweet home picture I got that from Hobby Lobby for half off and it has cactuses and succulents on it which I'm absolutely obsessed with at the moment and then I got this huge um, ampersand sign from Hobby Lobby as well um this frame is from Walmart and it just has a little print in it that says life is a beautiful ride and then I have two little figurines right here an owl and an M um, I got the M from Michaels and I got the owl from TJ Maxx and then up here I have the marquee letter that I made um, it matches really well then I have another Walmart frame with a print in it and then I got this tray from Hobby Lobby I showed you guys that I think I don't know I don't know if I showed you guys that um, but I got that from Hobby Lobby and then I have a little succulent which I got from the Target dollar spot a picture of me and my husband uh, when we were dating and then this little um, wood block that says dream big on it I got from Joanne fabrics for like three dollars and then I hung up uh, well, my husband hung up our succulent picture that I showed you guys in the home decor haul. Um, I love it right there. It just kind of balances out the wall uh, because it was bare and it's like right in the middle and just really pretty. I'm like super out of breath. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I just put some little decor up in the windows. It's kind of hard to see because it's really bright. But we have that up there. Um, this little cactus guy I just got today from TJ Maxx. And it's so adorable. Um, but then I have like my knitting stuff and crochet stuff. And I don't really like the way these shelves are set up right now. I feel like they look really cluttered. And I don't know if it's just me being nitpicky or what. But I feel like I have way too much clutter. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think because I just feel like I have too many things and I've already like gone through and decluttered everything so I don't know. Um, and then over here we have more decor like up in the windows. And then this is our little like makeshift computer desk area because we don't have our desk here yet and we're actually going to get rid of it so this for now is where we sit and work on the computer <laughs> and then this I just got from TJ Maxx today too it's just so adorable and it has a little tea light thing that comes out and you put a candle in there and this is the lantern thing um, this came from Ikea and I just filled it with some decorative um, spears that I got from Target and some string lights <clears throat> string lights as well <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start adding some pops of coral into our living room because coral um, and mint are like really really pretty colors together so I feel like doing that and then I got this today from Michaels ignore my um, it's just a little box that says dream on it and we're just keeping our remotes in here right now. But this was half off of $12.99. And they also have scrapbook. They also have scrapbook paper in the same exact design. It doesn't say dream on it, but I bought some last week. And then when I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to have that. Because the scrapbook paper was so pretty. And then these are my mug rugs that 
Um, yes, I crocheted myself, and I do have these listed on my Etsy shop, which is linked below in the description bar. Um, you can get a set of two for $6, or a set of four for $12. But they're just really cute, and I have so many colors that I can do in them. But I just keep, like, my mugs or cans or whatever on them. And that's my coconut leaves flower or er, candle, which is amazing. If you guys have not tried coconut leaves, go do it. Okay. So, yeah. So that's the overview of what our apartment looks like so far. Um, and also, really exciting news is, what is today? Today is Thursday, April 13th. And... At 6.30, which is in an hour, we are going to meet our soon-to-be puppy. <laughs> We're so excited. Um, I have talked about it a little on my Instagrams, but I haven't really mentioned it on my YouTube channel yet. But we uh, applied to adopt a puppy um, a few weeks ago, and we got approved on Tuesday night. And we're really, really excited we have a lot of puppy proofing to do so we're meeting him today but we are going out of town this weekend so we might possibly get him today and have somebody have my father-in-law watch him while we're gone this weekend because we're going to visit my parents and but if not then we're just gonna pick him up on Monday and he is a two-month-old pit bull puppy named Spot and he's all black and he has like a white um, little mark under his chin and then white paws and he's so cute <laughs> we're so excited um but he's already fixed he's microchipped he's got all his shots and everything so we really just need to bring him home and buy his toys and puppy bed and whatnot so I am waiting on my husband to come home he'll he should be here I told him to be home at six so he should be here at like and a half hour and then we were leaving to go meet Spot. I'm gonna try and vlog um, Spot a little bit um, but I don't know if that's gonna look weird because the foster mom's gonna be there so we'll see. I do definitely want to get some pictures and some video on my iPhone so if worse comes to worse at least I will have footage on my iPhone if I don't get it on my camera. Oh yeah and we hung these up too. Um, these are the little mirrors that I had in our old apartment, which I got these from Target a while ago. And we just hung them right there. Just looks kind of cute. And then I brought over all of my Bath and Body Works candles as well. They're in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I have to share with you guys right now. Like I said, I will try to vlog later, but if not... I'm going to end this here um, just because I wanted to give you guys an update and I wanted to talk to you about our new puppy that we are adopting. So I will talk to you all later and thanks for watching. Bye hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> so today is Monday, I don't know, the 14th, 15th, something or like, like that. It's the 17th. <laughs> So we were out of town this past weekend, but we um, are picking up the puppy tonight at 7. So I'm going to try and bring my camera with me. I wasn't able to get footage um, the other day when I went and met him because there was like a million people in there, a million different dogs, and I had to fill out like paperwork and stuff all while holding the puppy because... Um, he couldn't be put on the ground because of like the germs and stuff and he doesn't have his he has his first two rounds of shots but he doesn't have the third round so I wasn't able to put him down so it would have been really hard to like <laughs> vlog and try to get some footage of him um, so I'm definitely gonna include him in some vlogs from here on out once we get him but I figured I would hop on here and show you guys like the stuff that we bought him so far like the treats and toys and his bed and his crate and whatnot um, and also wanted to show you some little cute things that I hung up on this past Friday 
like Friday evening we were doing some cleaning and some unpacking and getting rid of stuff and I hung up some decals in the kitchen so I'm going to show you guys those now. So I hung these up and these I got from Michaels and they're from the brand Paper Riot and these are just like decals that you stick on the wall. Um, these are like more of a canvas type frame that has three sticky parts that you unpeel and then stick on. So I just like freehanded this. <laughs> My husband had his level, but I kind of just stuck the little stickers wherever and then just kind of eyeballed it and put those there. But I thought that's really cute, really goes with the theme of the kitchen, you know, once we have it done and whatnot. But this is the crate. We got Malcolm and that is his name. Hate it if you want to or love it. We don't care. That's his name. <laughs> But we got this from Amazon, and it is the medium-sized one, and it was only $25. Like, we looked at Walmart and Myers and all these stores, and all their crates were at least $60. So we got a really good deal. And it's got two doors on it that open. It's actually, it needs flipped around. But there's a handle and a barrier on the inside that you can kind of, like, block halfway off um, and expand it as he grows. And then... We got the food bowl, food bowl and water bowl, and then we got his collar today. I got this on Amazon as well. It's from Blueberry Pet, and um, I just thought this was really cute. Like, not too girly, but not too manly either. <laughs> and then we got his leash. I don't know if I showed you guys this already, but this leash is from Walmart, and it's reflective, so like people can see us walking at night you know when we are which we don't really need to walk at night because we have a backyard that's fenced in um and then got him some puppy pads he is newspaper trained um at the moment but we're just going to use these until he gets trained to go potty outside also got him some puppy shampoo from myers um this is the applesauce fragrance it smells like like green apple it smells amazing but when I met him he smelled kind of dingy um, because the foster mom was a smoker and he didn't smell like smoke but he just smelled like he could use a bath so we're gonna use this also picked up some pet wipes from TJ Maxx these were a suggestion from Chow Bella um, or Meg Megan uh, if you watch her channel, she, or well, her vlog channel, she talks a lot about <clears throat> treats and things she gets for her dog, and she suggested these, so I got them, and these are in the vanilla coconut scent, and they smell amazing. These are just for, like, their paws or their noses or whatever has dirty spots on them. And then today I went to Target, and I picked up these dream sticks and they are made without rawhide which is good because rawhide is actually really bad for dogs um, and I wanted to get him bully sticks but bully sticks are incredibly expensive like it's ridiculous this comes with a pack of five and I think it was either five or six dollars that's what that looks like and then I ordered these from Amazon uh, wellness soft puppy bites which you can get these really at any pet store um, but I just do a lot of ordering on Amazon because it's convenient and these are grain free and they are the lamb and salmon recipe so we're going to use these for his training and then we got him the Nyla Bone puppy starter kit and these help with like the teething and the chewing so you give him this first one first the second one after and then the third one last um, so hopefully that helps and then his food is the I'm's Smart Puppy Food, which is fine for now, but we are going to, I only got a small bag because we're going to wean him off of that and switch over to a, like a blue buffalo, more healthier option. Um, 
Iams actually has a lot of ingredients in it that are really bad for your dog, like chicken and meat byproduct and um, what else? Just, I don't know, things that aren't healthy. And you guys are probably like, oh my God, it's just dog food. But we, me and my husband actually eat an organic diet. <laughs> so we feel like our dog should also eat a healthier, more organic diet. So Blue Buffalo, um, like I'm sure you've seen the commercials and stuff, but it's just healthier for puppies and dogs. Okay, and then over here, we have his bed, which this is small for the time being, yes, but um, for right now, it's fine. He will grow and we'll get a new one. But I got this one from uh, Marshalls, I believe, and it was $20, but it's like really pretty. And I wanted something that kind of went with our decor. I know that's kind of stupid, but whatever. I don't know what that noise is. But, um, yeah, it was $20, and then for his toys, I got him this little rope thing from Myers. I got this football thing you put treats in from Myers, And then I got a little Sully stuffed animal, and then I got that rope from Target today for a dollar. So, that's everything that we have for the puppy so far. I'm sure we will be expanding. We still need to find a mat for his crate, which I think we're going to do that like either before or after we get him today. Um, I may just have my husband wait in the car and I'll probably run into like TJ Maxx real quick with the pup. He'll wait in the car with the puppy and I'll run into TJ Maxx and just grab a mat real quick for his crate. <clears throat> so just wanted to show you guys that and update you. Um, I am probably going to uh, edit this and then upload it now and then uh, I'm gonna try to continue vlogging for you guys you seem to like the vlogs about the house and the puppy and stuff so I'm gonna go and I will talk to you all later bye